start off by just defining what is master data. So um, you can see here on the screen we have uh, you know, a, a sample set of data. Um, these look like order transactions and it has some transactional data around the order date, the quantity, uh, but it also has obviously some data around products and customers and partners. So um, you know, embedded in here is some examples of master data. So here we have the names of the items that were uh, included in each order line item. And that along with the item number, the description, the unit price all comprise our product master data. So that's one example of a domain that's embedded within this data set. Um, we also have customer data, so the customer names and the address we ship to. That's all an example of master data. And then we also have the seller name, which might be an example of a partner or distributor um, as well. So those are three examples of master data that you can see embedded within these transactions. And then we have separately from that the actual transactional data. And so there's a distinction that we like to draw between transactional data and master data, and we'll, we'll dive into that a little more deeply here shortly. So master data defined, what, what are we really talking about when we, when we use the term master data? And, and obviously that leads into master data management. So, so master data, it, we typically uh, refer to it as the nouns that describe uh, your business. So the nouns could be uh, your customers, your products, your suppliers, your locations, uh, your chart of accounts, all these different things that you typically manage, these core data assets that you use within your enterprise. Um, and it is, it is non-transactional data. So in, in, in the prior example, we saw uh, some transactional data as well as some master data. Um, MDM is, is non-transactional data, um, but it describes transactions. So um, a transactional data would be uh, you know, an invoice line item with the invoice number, the invoice date, uh, and, and the dollar amounts for that. Um, and then the, the master data would be uh, describing that transaction further, the product that was purchased, the customer that, that ordered it, um, the vendor that supplied it, et cetera. So that's the, that's, that's the master data that we're really concerned with in, in MDM. Uh, master data is slowly changing. Um, so uh, a customer could be a person or a business, and that business is changing over the course of time. So um, someone has a name, they might have an address, that address might change because either the, uh, the business moved or the individual moved. Um, but those changes are, are fairly slow moving, right? So, so uh, the nature of a person or a business or a product typically evolves slowly over time. Um, uh, there is reference data that supports the management of master data. So uh, in the context of, say, the product domain, um, there's a lot of uh, reference data sets that we, that we use to describe um, uh, the product. So the color of the product, the packaging of the product, the size, the weight, et cetera. Those are all uh, reference data uh, uh, elements that help describe, in this case, a product. So when we talk about a given master data domain, that domain is defined by all the attributes that describe it. So it's you know, all the attributes of a product or all the, the attributes uh, of a customer. And so those attributes are the properties of it. And then there's also relationships with the master data. So um, this organization uh, rolls up to that organization, or this product is made up of these components. Uh, so there's, uh, uh, in, in addition to this, the master data itself, there's also relationships um, that we're looking to maintain and manage as well. So the key thing is that master data is, is uh, important data uh, uh, in your organization. If you look at the totality of the data that you have uh, in storage, uh, master data is a, a relatively small amount of data from a volume perspective, um, but it's typically some of the more complex data that you have, and it's also the information that's most valuable to maintain and manage. So um, having an accurate representation of your customers is, is a very valuable exercise, even though the, the, your customer list, your master customer list, is a relatively small amount of information in the grand scheme of the data you have within your enterprise.